So Premiere has released this really incredible update. Now there's been a couple videos that have talked about it very briefly. I know Peter McKinnon has, Justin Odisho, and they've touched on uh, this element called color matching that Premiere has updated with. But there's one thing that no one really has expanded on is utilizing this color matching method as a LUT. Now again, Justin Odisho has talked about this a little bit in one of his videos, but there is so much potential with this. So it made me think, do I need to purchase LUTs anymore or can I use utilize color matching to do that for me. So basically I have a bit of a test here. So if you look at the imagery, like that is a really great parallel and a really good launch point. So I'm gonna go into my edit software. I'm gonna show you guys how I got those shots um, and how easy it is utilizing color matching for Premiere Pro. So let's get right into our edit. Okay, so I have this footage here. Basically, it's for my buddy's YouTube series, Zark Life. If you guys wanna take a look at it, there's a link to it in the description below. But basically, it's just like this cool footage of us you know, hopping out of a helicopter. And so for the whole thing, I'm a huge fan of Sam Coulter's color grading. Um, so what I did was I found some of my favorite stills from some of his videos and thought, can I utilize this as my color matching? So let's just try it out. So first of all, I have this one still here. I'm just gonna drag and drop it and put it in my timeline. It's him like skateboarding. Uh, in Vancouver. So we'll just scale it and make sure it fits the whole frame. And so we've got a nice range of colors here. We've got like kind of the teal in the background and the orange in the foreground. So if this color matching works, it should be as simple as this. So first of all, uh, if you have the latest version of Premiere Pro, part of CC, you'll have this thing called Comparison View. I recommend clicking that. If you can't find that on your little bottom bar here, uh, all you gotta do is click the plus sign and you'll see it in your buttons editor and then you just drag and drop it and put it down into your options bar. Now, once you've done that, it's part of your tool and then basically you get a double up screen available here. Now, the first thing you wanna do is find the shot that you wanna color grade, which it'll be this one for me. And so basically all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip flop these here, whoops. I'm going to flip these over. So now this is the reference uh, image that we're gonna be utilizing and this is the current and this is the one that I want to grade. And then all we're gonna do is go into our Lumetri color settings and press uh, apply match. And we're gonna press apply match. It's going to match the colors as neatly as it can and as close as it can. As you can see, we've got that nice blue, but not that orange color. Now this is the great thing is now we've applied a great base for our shot. So the longest time I was just really trying to figure out how to get even just like the, the teals part of what uh, Sam has. So once you at least have one bit of the colors, it's pretty easy to link this up. So let's just go into like our mid tones and let's just start pulling out just those, those nice red colors. And the nice thing is about the display here is now we can just compare the colors. And now it's looking like a little too red. So let's bring that down. And even within our highlights, maybe we can bring the reds back in. And I'm just gonna drag down the shadows just slightly into that bluish area. And now we can just start making our tweaks. So if we look at it now, um, it looks so much closer. Let's full screen that. There's a nice cool parallel. And if we just kind of turn on and off the Lumetri grade, you can see that with literally one click, we're getting so close to that color grade. And what we can even do is just play around with these modes. And again, this just sets a really good base layer to um, what you can do with your project. So once you have that grade figured out, then you're gonna go into your Lumetri color. You can copy that now and start applying it to all of your other shots. So I've got a shot of like me hopping out of a helicopter. So we'll just full screen it now because we don't actually need the comparison view on anymore. I'll just plug and play it. And now we've got that nice grade on there. And you know, if we wanna play around with it a little bit, all we gotta do is just go in here and we can kind of make those fine tune adjustments. And then we'll go into the next frame, apply that. It looks a little magenta-y in our shadow. So we can just kind of take that a little bit more into the teal zone. And again, you can make your fine tune adjustments, but I think this is something really neat that you need to start playing around with a lot more. And there you guys have it. That's a quick way you can start applying color grades to projects without having to utilize a LUT. Now, does this destroy or get rid of your LUTs? Probably not because there are a lot of kinks with the apply color match that I've faced while utilizing it. Now maybe you don't face this, but one of the big things is it just sometimes it doesn't work. So Premiere has a little bit of work to do to make sure that it works every single time. Uh, because when I started actually to apply that for more than one shot, it wasn't working 100%. So there are kinks to this. So um, does it take away LUTs and does it get
get rid of utilizing those? No, I think for certain projects you need that and you definitely need that flexibility as a backbone. But if let's say you don't want to invest in it or there's a specific color grade that you want to use, maybe it's from the Matrix or maybe it's from a Sam Colder video, this is a really good way to get you an inch closer to that coloring. And again, if you just do a little bit of tweaking, it's a really good head start as opposed to starting completely fresh and having that compare screen uh, function available in Premiere is really beneficial because now you can kind of look at the two rather than going back and forth between screens or monitors that you have on your desktop. You literally have it open in Premiere right there for you to do those color changes. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video and want to take a look at some more, I would love to see your face more often and I will see you guys next time. Keep making some great stuff.